All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we're about to start the festival. I'm so freaking excited every time, no matter how many times I play this, uh, I get super excited about this part. So, hope you're excited too. So, I have to head over to the theater district. So, we'll head over there now. Um, what I was saying about I don't know earlier if I wanted to win the festival, like in the a few parts ago, is because like it, like you see in there, um, each character has their own reward when they win. Um, if Zanine wins, you get five thousand gil. If Freya wins, you get an add-on, which is a coral ring, which can be really useful early on. I usually like to have Freya win just for that, because the coral ring, um, as you might know, coral usually has like lightning elemental attributes to it. It absorbs lightning, and oh crap, our, ca our cab's leaving. And that can be really nice early on. We can't get it till a little bit later if we don't get it here. And then Vivi gets a theater card or a theater ship card. Which is not this isn't the only place you can get it, but it's still cool. So, anyways, we're about to start. Oh, I'm so excited! Here we go. It's freaking awesome music too. Hunter's chains. Such rudeness, princess. They are treating you like a commoner. Oh hush, we, we get a great view from here. Hmm, you're right. I can see the entire town. Princess, look, Master Vivi is also participating. I can't believe it. He seemed reluctant earlier. Master Vivi! The princess and I are rooting for you! Come on, Vivi! You can do it! <laughs> no! Master Vivi! Oh, look out! Oh, gosh, I can't watch anymore! You can't win just by running! A good offense is the best defense! Attack! You can't lose to that monkey Zidane! Yes! That's it! <laughs> Now's your chance! One more time! <coughs> Vivi behind you! Yes! Go! Oh, but it's hard <laughs> it's hard doing Vivi's or it's uh Stanger's voice. Alright, so the clock's ticking and we're on our on our way, we've got zero points. So Um basically what this is it's kinda like the running of the bulls, I guess. Um they just let a bunch of animals loose in town, but in this one we're actually fighting them. And oh crap, I need to equip something. Yeah, even the menu still or the timer still goes even if you're in the menus and all that. Great Scott! We have to save the pigeon guy. Being chased by a Mew. So Mews are one of the enemies you will face in the festival of hunt. Um, they give the least points. Um, then there's these trick sparrows, which we'll see. They give a little bit more. And the fangs, like which we fought in Evil Forest, those give even more points. Um, the highest amount of points, except for one particular enemy, which you may or may not remember that giant thing, that Zagnal. Yeah, that gives a lot of points too. We won't be able to go to that right away though. Uh, but in due time, we got 12 minutes. It's kind of, you know, timers in this game always make you anxious, but... Strange Gourmand leads with 22 points. So I got 12 points for the Mew. Um, see, there's a Trick Sparrow. If you go downstairs, you may miss it. And you, it'll be gone once you go back up. So you might want to stand up the stairs just before you um, go down. The trick Sparrows will give us a few more points, probably like 60, I think. Could be wrong. I think I might just make Zidane win, just... I think you get the key item either way if any of your party members win. Which is a, it's just a, a reward, like a certificate sort of thing, which just doesn't do anything. It just says that you've won the Festival of the Hunt. But whatever. So would that give us 14 or 16? Oh, two points! Right on! <laughs> Sorry, I screwed something up there. There should be another Trick Sparrow here, yep. Come on, attack me. You had the other way around, like the trick sparrows do less, or I don't know. But yeah, the reason I wanted to synthesize that ogre weapon that I'm using, that double edged sword, which, um, yeah, Zidane can use daggers and then double edged swords, um, is because it's, you see how strong it is? I mean, if I attack myself with it, it would kill me in one hit. If I cut the Mage Masher on, it would take a while. So it's nice to get things, um, down in one hit, so. Yeah, I usually forget to do that um, before the festival, but which usually causes me to lose, but whatever. So Freya's in the lead with 37 points, but I'm not worried. And either way, like, um, well, there's a fang. Even if she does win, I don't really mind, so. Because like I said, we want that coral ring. You can get me fangy. Yeah, once again, just freaking awesome music. 
So once again, we'll take down this fang in one hit, no problem. Um, and then after that, we will head over to the, uh, the business district, because we want to go to the industrial district last. You'll see why soon enough. Yeah, like I said, the timer can probably make you pretty anxious just because, you know, it's going while the menus are going. Oh, Vivi's in the lead now. Um, it keeps running while the menus are going, while you're transitioning through seat or areas, just everything. Battles, victory screens, all that. All that jazz. Uh, let's talk to him anyways. Where are these wild beasts come from? It's the, you know what this is. I hope your pigeons are okay though. Um... Yeah, one thing I didn't mention is I actually am uploading the finale of Mega Man X on a completely different note. Um, it's about almost halfway done. It's going a lot quicker than it usually does, so that's nice. Mega Man X is going to be done. I mean, it's going to be completely uploaded, so I have that to look forward to. And um, I don't want to give it away, but I'm trying to record something else, but it's not been going very well, so... I'll talk about that later once we get into it, if if I get into it. So maybe, oh no, the Trick Sparrow took the Mew! <coughs> and his friend's back. You can't pick me up. So let's see, BB was in the lead again. But you know what? Oh, crap. We're actually getting a low on, low on time here. Seven minutes left. And I'm not going to get my trans cage filled, but that's okay. What I want to do is I want to get to over to the industrial district at around maybe four and four and a half minute mark, because that is the way we are going to um, to win this thing. Either have Zine win or or Freya win. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to think. Speaking of timers though, um, you know, there's actually not really technically any way to 100% this game. Um, and that I'm, by 100% I mean literally 100% getting every single item, every treasure, every little hidden kill area and all that just because there's actually probably the most powerful weapon in the game, which is for Steiner, the Excalibur 2. You need to get through the entire- get to the very last area of the game in less than 12 hours. Yeah, I know. And we're already up to like... Is it- we're like, like almost like 8 hours now into the game? And we're not even on the second disc. There's four discs. So yeah, I mean, it sounds very challenging. I've personally never done it myself. No matter how many times I play this, and I've never actually really attempted to, because there's certain tricks you need to do, like, to, cut, to skip out the cutscenes, because those count towards your time. Um, shit. What are we gonna do? Uh, let's just go this way quick, and then... Yeah, we have plenty of time, so we'll be fine. Yeah, like I was saying, the Excalibur 2, you need to get to the end of the game within, uh... Shit, no. No, no, we're in the wrong spot. Shit, shit, shit. We need to be here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> we need to get to the Industrial District quick. We don't have to, but... SHIT! <laughs> I always mix those up. What was I saying? Excalibur 2? Yeah, so, and you, you know, getting through the game in 12 hours or less, you have to obviously skip some stuff, so... Yeah. So I don't really know firsthand how powerful the Excalibur 2 is. It's probably freaking awesome, but... It's not necessary, it's just cool to have. And speaking of, like, getting through games with quickly, and this may be a very, very unpopular opinion um, regarding speedruns. Like, I've seen... I've been curious about just looking at random speedruns of certain games, like... Like, Castlevania and, um, like, Ocarina of Time and stuff like that. Don't chase the kitty. Stupid dog. <laughs> and I just... I don't know. I just find it not very fair when people exploit glitches and stuff to get through games quick. Like, it just kind of defeats the purpose, I think. Because, like, I, I, I saw those videos, like, you know, someone getting through Ocarina of Time in, like, eight minutes or something. I'm like, holy shit, how can you do that? You know? The freaking intro is longer than eight minutes. But, or maybe it wasn't eight minutes, it's just an example. Something really short. Are you okay, kitty? Oh, yeah, we got this, though. 
Unless we fail the fight that I need to go do now, a mini boss fight. But yeah, what I was saying, like, I don't know, just... You know, anyone can exploit a glitch. It may be hard to do it. There may be glitches that are hard to do, and it, it requires skill to actually pull them off. But at the same time, it's like, you're not actually going through the entire game, right? So, I, I, I'm more interested in, you know, someone actually le legitimately going through the entire game as quick as they can. Whether that be like, you know, an hour, no, it would probably take longer than an hour for opening up time. But, you know what I mean. I just don't really like the, this, I guess it's a tool assisted speedrun or whatever you'd call it, but, yeah. I want to go up that way, but I'm not going to take the chance because we need to get over here, like, ASAP. Uh, over there, I meant the church area. So here's that Zagno. Zane! Help! Hey, big boy, turn around! Damn, you're ugly. Allow me to help. Okay, but I gotta finish him. I've got a date with Dagger on the line. You're ridiculous. Fine, as you wish. So we got three minutes to do this. Less than three minutes. I think if we let um, Freya deliver the, the finishing blow, then she'll get the points. But I think I'm just gonna let Zidane win. We could use the 5,000 gil that we get, so... But hey, we got our first fight with the, uh, Freya, show, show you what she's like, you can just jump. Which, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, you know what jump does. You jump in the air for a turn and attack the next turn. You're basically um, invulnerable the entire time you're in the air. So, And holy crap, look at that, 500 damage with Zane's attack. Half that with jump. And holy hell, crap, okay, we need to heal Zidane. Because I think if Zidane's fainted, then, well, obviously... There's an intimidated, he can't deliver the finishing blow. So please don't attack Zidane. Come on, let me see that potion. Yes! Probably throw another one on there in a sec. But now we got him. Shocking. <laughs> That's what I love about Final Fantasy X when Lulu uses black magic. She has those puns. Yeah, we got this. The hunt is over. Because that gives us 99 points. Oh, 81 points. Either way, we're in the lead now. 187. Let's go talk to Bunts and Lucella. Monster might have been the clincher. Gee, your friend is strong, Zadine. She's so cool. Yeah, she is. Bunts, you okay? Bunts! Man, I could have beaten that monster on my own. Just kidding. So the hunt's still going, so usually I, f I don't finish that, or I um, finish it just within time for the hunt to end, but... There's, that's not Card Freak Gone up there. It's Card Freak Gone's house, or Guy Card Freak, or Gone Guy Card, or something. Whatever, that was hilarious, I think. I guess we'll save. So, what's her name? Lady with apron or something? I don't know. No, that's either the chick. Well, we already hit the climax of the festival, but I guess we'll take out another fang for a few more points. Just wiping everything out here. I guess it did help that I uh, grinded a little bit to level up too. Which is another reason why I wanted to buy the ogre, because grinding by yourself out here is dangerous, so... I mean, the first battle I got into, I almost died, so... Up to 14 minutes, that sounds about right. Uh, let's see if we can take, take out the Trick Sparrow. There was another one up there too, and no, it's... As soon as I hit this, it's probably gonna. Festival's gonna end. Two seconds, yeah. And the whole long cutscene where we have to show the entire town. Oh well. I guess that Trick Sparrow is gonna be roaming the towns of Lim uh, Town of Limblum for the next while. Hopefully, he doesn't eat a cat or something. Time's up! And the winner is. Zidane! 206 points. Alright. That was marvelous, all of you. 206 points. Congratulations. We grant you the Master Hunter and your reward. 5,000 gil, Master Hunter. Congratulations, Zidane. Thanks. So now we get a date.
Regent. Please forgive my intrusion. It's a Promethean soldier. I bring urgent news from our king. The king of Promethea? Sire, you must not let him see you like this. Take a good look at him. An injury has blinded him. Continue. Our kingdom is being attacked by some unknown force. You're severely outmatched. Please send reinforcements immediately. <laughs> the enemy looks like an army of mages wearing steeple crowned hats. The king and I are old friends. We will send the reinforcements to Burmesia immediately. Thank you, Regent. The king and all of Burmesia will be most grateful. I must return now. Ugh. Take him to the infirmary. It's too late. He's gone. It's a miracle he's even made it this far. I can't believe this is happening. How did he make it all the way over there? He's blind. Wait, he's a rat, so... This is a problem. Because of the festival, there are hardly any men left in the castle. It will take time to mobilize. We have no choice. Call back the 4th Area Division, patrolling the border. But if we call the 4th, we will lose our eyes over Alexandria. Quack quack. Bromesia is our ally. We must help them. Steeple crowned hats. They might be black mages like Vivi. It can't be. Could it be Mother? I must go now. I cannot sit and wait for the reinforcements. I'm coming with you. No, this does not concern you. What's this? I'm a stranger all of a sudden? I'm not going to sit back and watch your home get destroyed, alright? Thank you, Zidane. Um, can, can I come too? I want to find out who they really are. Sure. We'll all go. Alright then, let's go to Bermesia. Princess, this is a foreign matter. It has nothing to do with us. Steiner is right. We don't know if Alexandria is involved. But if black mages are involved... So I was doing Sid's voice. Zidane, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if Mother is behind this, I'll make her stop. I promise. I think you should stay here. What? We don't know what to expect there. I've already faced great danger coming here. What's the difference? Yeah, you tell him. Dagger, this is war. A lot of people are going to die. I know that. How did you feel when you saw that Promethean soldier die? Just now. I, I felt sad, of course. Just sad? Weren't you scared, too? Obviously, you haven't realized how dangerous it's going to be. You could get killed. This is no time to be talking about convincing your mother of anything. But... Now is not the time to argue. He's right. We must head to Bermisia at once. Will you open the Dragon's Gate? Of course. If you're going to go by foot, leaving from that gate is the best way. Let us eat while we quack. Wait for the gate to open. Yeah, because we're all hungry now. So we just saw that guy die. So never mind. Ooh, this looks awesome though. Yay, I'm so hungry! The festival of the Hunt Feast is one of the, our oldest traditions. It began well over five centuries ago. So even the losers get to eat? So where's all the rest of the participants? It is customary to eat everything with your hands, so go on, before it gets cold. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> customary. They threw that in just so they didn't have to add in forks and knives and all that. Mmm, it's so good. Hmm. Let's just eat. We can't do anything until the gate opens. You're right. Hey, you're not bad. This is wonderful. Princess, how is everything? Princess? Why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right, everything is, is so delicious. Indeed it is, especially this beef. It is superb. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll get some of that, too. Hand me over the peas. Oh, I'm so full. I'm, I'm getting sleepy now. Ugh. What the? The food is poison! How can I be so careless? Ugh. I'm starting to feel sick. Again. F forgive me, princess. I should have tasted it for poison. That's impossible. There shouldn't be any in your dish. Oh, what? 
Nope. Now that you mention it, I feel just fine. <laughs> Wait, how did you know? Princess, you didn't. It's not poison, it's just a medicinal herb that Dane gave me. Believe me, that's not what I had planned. Steiner, I have to make my own decisions. I had no choice. Uncle Sid would never let me leave the castle. That is because he is concerned about you. I understand, but... No, you don't understand! War is a terrible thing. You must never experience it as I have. I'm sorry, Princess. I cannot follow any orders that might put your life in danger. It's like a robot. Like those law robot laws. What if Alexandria is behind the attack on Promethea? It could lead to war between the three great nations. Many innocent people will die. As the Princess of Alexandria, there must be something I can do. I have to help Mother. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Hmm. Very well. Princess, I will follow you wherever you choose. Thank you. Let's go before everyone wakes up. I'm sorry, Zidane. Come on. You might notice, like, their, sp their uh, models are kind of, like, moving. Dagger, where are you going? You know, like, see, like, how Vivi's not very still there? I think they, they did that just to show, like, their breathing, you know? Because I don't think Final Fantasy VIII did that. They may have started that just to show the models are actually alive and moving, you know, not, like, just stationary like Final Fantasy VII. Must have been some sort of sleeping medicine. It was sleeping weed. We've been had. I gave her some because she said she was having sleeping problems. I'm impressed. There's more to her than meets the eye. Damn, what the heck is she thinking? Maybe she's heading to Bermesia. Then you might still be able to catch up with her. Vivi, wake up! We're going to Bermesia! Let's head for the Giza Maluk's Grotto. Once you pass through this grotto, we'll be in Bermesia. You can leave from the Dragon's Gate, located on the base level. Quack! Uh, yeah, we're getting up uh, getting up there on time, so... <clears throat> you can leave from the... Okay, I said that. Yeah, that's Freya said too. Can we play cards? No. Um, so I'll head back to the... To the Moogle first, and then we'll... The next episode we'll go down and save. Up there is just where we were talking to um, Sid earlier. His throne just moves down to the second level so we can have that feast. Up there, you know what's up there? Over here there's nothing. It's just a wall. So let's head down to the, uh, what's it called, mid-level. Uh, you already know where we are from here, so I'm just going to cut it off here. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. hope you enjoy the Festival of Hunt, and we'll get on to the rest of our adventure. So I'll see you later. Bye.